It is about time that we look for some more clues, and that means exploring around here. What is this? Okay, so I can technically use my pick lock skill. However, that is going to use three effort points. But we just so happen to have an iron bar that is going to lend its assistance. Hello reformers and welcome to the council. This is a heavy narrative adventure style game where you are a member of a secret society in the 1700s and you apparently have to investigate a lot of strange goings on. Anyway, let us enter the manor, select a save game and begin. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen! Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ugh. Ugh. Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. So this is our first selection, our first action. What are we going to do? Are we going to act ourselves or are we going to trust her? I think we're going to trust her. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Ah. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, 
I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to von Borchardt. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is but think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Horn. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Horn, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Ooh, so what are we going to choose? Well, I think probably business with Lord Mortimer would be more suitable. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. To get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Are you all right? Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? 
Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for you die. <gasps> You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Yes, we certainly do, and it seems as though we have some kind of supernatural power, and uh, it seems like the Duchess is actually waiting for us, so I'm wondering whether she's going to want to speak to us again. Louis, during the trip I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? And here is where we get to choose our class, and we can choose to be a diplomat, an occultist, or a detective. And that will, of course, determine how we are going to play the game. So, the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. The occultist is a master of deception convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. And the detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. In other words, if we're going to get into a fist fight, then the detective is probably the way to go. Now, I am not entirely sure what to go for here. I think, personally, a diplomat would be the most fun, because this is, of course, a narrative game, and so speaking is going to be a very, very useful skill. So, I think we're going to go for that. I think the occultist could be extremely fun as well. Are you, and you can actually see the skills here, too. So, if we take a look at the skills, you can take a look and actually see diversion, politics, conviction, etiquette, and then you have logic, vigilance, psychology, occultism. Okay, so yeah, the diplomat obviously goes over here. You can actually level up in this game as well, by, by the way. So, you can see the level up system right there. Let's actually just go back real quick. I'd actually like to see what the occultist is all about, because that one was kind of the thing that was kind of piquing my interest a little bit more. So let's see here. Be up to date with scientific knowledge and medical techniques. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Rely on your knowledge of myths, occult and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Ooh, manipulation sounds fun. Get people to act in your own interest. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Psychology with the detective, and do I have anything else here that I can kind of adopt the appropriate behavior for every social situation? Also used to formulate flattery or veiled insults. Oh, that might be kind of fun. 
but maybe manipulation. Discreetly steal items, pick locks, and notice falsification. All right, I think we're going to go for the occultist. I think that seems kind of fun. So you now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you one in manipulation and one in psychology. So I'd actually like to get another point in this. Or should I? Yeah, let's let's get another couple of points in this so that we can actually get to level two manipulation. Now we have zero available points, which is absolutely fine. So let us validate that and head onward. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Ah, now we have an opportunity. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Hmm, okay. Well, this is... Oh, that's going to be interesting. Immunity revealed and vulnerability revealed. Okay. And uh, press the space button to access your menu pages. All right. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered... Let's actually just take a look very quick. And she is immune to logic. Right. And we have not uncovered her vulnerability just yet. About my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Hmm, and now we have talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Alright. Okay, so I suppose we should make our way up, but we do have a couple of things here that we might want to check out. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Must be an incredible view from up there. 
Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Ah, well, yes, thank you very much for that wonderful observation. Wait a minute, there must be a couple of other... Ah, hello. What is that? What did I just pick up? I picked up some more royal jelly. Okay, so I assume I've probably missed a bunch. Have I? Have I missed a bunch? It really depends. There, isn't there something in the water there? There is. Can I jump? Can I jump? Ah, wait a minute. There's, there are some stairs. So I'm going to go and see if I can... Can, can I not can I not use the stairs there I think there is a glowing something in there but it seems like I am unable to get down there at the moment I, I guess I don't really want to ruin my shoes do I so what about this guy good evening sir may I ask your name please Louis Moraz de Richet Monsieur de Richet delighted to welcome you among us sir you must be Sarah de Richet's son I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Well, of course, I would like to... Uh... Yes, questioning is currently locked, unfortunately. Browse your skills by using the character tab. Let me actually just take a look here and see what, what I can get. I mean, obviously I don't have enough experience to really spec into anything, but let's just take a look. Ah, there's questioning. So I needed three points to get to level one to be able to question this guy, but obviously I need the detective skills, and we are currently an occultist. So it's unfortunate that I would be unable to use my manipulation on this fellow. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Ooh, now that was cool, wasn't it? Yes, using our manipulation to the best what effect. What inscription? En nesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur.
You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Ah, we discovered an immunity of Lord Mortimer's, and uh, I actually am unsure whether I want to continue onward because apparently there is something going on on the landing dock. There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. And yes, apparently there is no way that he's going to leave without Mother, so let us go over here and like search a couple of things. rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Ah, I seem to have found something. A lot of letters here. Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Ooh, ah, here we go. Okay, so the envelope has ideograms on it. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Oh, we apparently don't know that language. I haven't the slightest idea what it says. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Ah, it looks like we found something. This is a difficulty two. Uh, well, we'll try it. Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Riche. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? I'm guessing he's a man of some importance, Spanish, I'd say, but just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Ah, uh, unfortunately I do not have the politics level to be able to remember who that fellow is. But it is about time that we look for some more clues, and that means exploring around here. What is this? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. Apparently I'm gonna hit some people over the head with it. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Hmm. Well, we can either go to the manor now or we can look for some more clues, but I think 
maybe looking for some more clues would make sense, considering we just picked up something pretty useful, I'd say. A wooden floorboard. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Hmm, apparently I don't have the vigilance skill just yet to be able to deal with this. Maybe we can pick this lock with our occultist skill. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Ah, isn't that amusing? Okay, so I can technically use my pick lock skill. However, that is going to use three effort points. But, we just so happen to have an iron bar that is going to lend its assistance. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. Ah, of course. Okay, well, it seems like I will have to spend my effort points. I'm a bit worried about spending this many for something unknown. But shall we try it? I think so. Ah, there we are. Well, well, this better be worth it. That's all I can say. If it's not, then, uh, well, I've just spent a huge amount of effort points for nothing. I'd like some royal jelly, please. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does... At least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Ah, there is some more royal jelly. Very nice. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm, the powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly too. Hmm, we just found an amber fragment as well. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. A fragment of amber? Hmm, very nice. Okay, so basically this is kind of like a secret area, I would say. And with that, I think we have explored most of... Ah, wait a minute. Oh, there's some more royal jelly. Very nice indeed. We're going to need more of those, that's for sure. Anyway, if you'd like to check this game out, maybe want to play it yourself, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, if you want to see more, let me know. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.